Welcome to watching the lesson 5 connecting backend SAP servers via JCO part 2. So in this lesson uh, we will continue to build an uh, application based on the MBOs that we already created. So here we will uh, uh, deploy the MBO that we created in our last lesson. So here we will name the package name to flights. Here maybe yes. Let's change back name. I'm not sure why. Okay. Anyway, let's go continue for deploying the MBO application. So here we click next. We click connect to my SUP server. So yes, let's click next. Yes, deployment is. Very easy. Here is the yes. Let's use the connection profile that we already uh, generated. Yes. Uh, okay. Click next and click finish. So the operation is in process, it will be a little bit slow because there's a lot of configurations that will be uh, created and uh, deployed. Okay. Yes, so uh, here we have a, a basic uh, workflow page here, and uh, we have already uh, created a um, flights and the flights detail page. Um, and here we have a list, and then we have a detail page. So here, let's take a look at the flights menu item. What is it doing here? It's an online request also. Let's do a deployment here. Okay. So we will assign it a user. Click finish. Here, let's see. Um, let's open up the workflow. Just a minute, yes. In the log file, we can see the workflow has already been installed. So, here we can see that the flights workflow application. So let's check the menu item flight. Yes, we get all the flights uh, here. And there's a raw data with no configurations, no customizations. So now we will do some enhancements. For example, we can add two uh, input fields. One is called from, and the other one is called to. Uh, 
uh, there's two parameters where you can search uh, the flights by the, uh, the from destination is here we will do some uh, key mappings yes always check the naming conventions from the uh, Sybase.com websites, there's a naming convention, suggestions, documentation here. So let's find search flights. Let's rename it. Here we also have to do is create PK from and PK2. Yes, if you have already listened to the previous lessons of this series, you may be quite familiar with all the uh, all these things. Yes, okay. So we have already created two PK keys, and uh, we what we have to do is a parameter mapping. We will do first. Let me see. We'll change the object query here. Oops, so we have not created object query. All we have is, is the automatically generated find all. So here we have to uh, create an object query here. So we will click the find and uh, choose we will choose we will choose and the create uh, an attribute. GUI is a little bit complicated to um, click, but you have to be familiar with it. So here we will click <coughs> and create another attribute. Yes, these attributes will be used as the parameter of the object queries. So here we will create an object query. We will name the object query search flights. Add two uh, parameters. Map to the from and the second one map to the to. Click the generate and we will review the queries.
So here we will do a um, attributes mapping. Propagate to the attributes. Destination to object ID. Propagate the PK destination from we will choose the from yes yes here now we can Select the object query here to search flights. Now we can do parameter mapping. We can map the input key from and the input key to. Also, we will put the PK in the mapping let's do a save here So here we will do some enhancement of the UI. We would like to show yes, let me see we have only want the airline ID and uh, we want the uh Yes, whatever flight date. And here we will add another attribute. Let me see, it's uh, departure time. We want uh, these attributes to be uh, shown in the sequence. So here, let's save it. So don't forget to deploy the project again, because we have to ha we have changed the uh, MBO. So here. Let's save it. Oh, oh, there's a there's an error. Let's see. Let's try again. Deploy. Okay. Okay. There's maybe some small bugs. Let's let's again generate the workflow application.
let's go back to the home page of the workflow application so here we have the flights already updated and installed so we'll click the flights Here we can input, say, JFK to SFO, we'll search those flights. Let's do a quick search. Emulator is okay. Let's see. Yes, we get the list. We get the departure time, the airline ID, and the date. So after clicking into the details, we can see the flight details information. Yes. Thanks for watching this session.